Machu Picchu early in the morning. Machu Picchu from the highest point of this amazing place. In a few minutes, we'll be able to see the sand coming out. Machu Picchu, the sacred city of the Incas today. Today's a great day, July, and sunny, beautiful blue sky. We have the glaciers over there. Uh, we have Machu Picchu right here, and the sun just came out. So this is an amazing place. So this is Machu Picchu, the most important, sacred, powerful center of the Incas. So this is actually the main entrance of Machu Picchu. We are following the end of the Inca Trail. This is the main entrance. Once we walk in through this main entrance, we will be inside the Inca town. It's a beautiful town with a lot of sectors. We, are, we have right now down below the terraces, farming area, farming area terraces for agriculture. And on the inside we have the religious area, the royal palaces, the main plaza, the urban area in Machu Picchu town. Enter the royal palaces, okay? Have a look at the terraces on the right. Beautiful. So now we're gonna walk through these royal palaces, see? where they used to live, you know, their nice palaces, nice buildings. We walk through the palaces, walk down and sit down and relax and talk about Machu Picchu. This is part of the royal palaces where the Inca and the royalty used to live in these amazing buildings. And about more than 10 years ago, French and Korean archaeologists were working at Machu Picchu and they discovered a tomb. Let me show you the entrance of the tomb. which is locked and is intact using ultrasound they found a mummy inside this tomb with a lot of artifacts at the moment these archaeologists French and Korean archaeologists are waiting to get special permission to open this tomb but the government said no at some point they may open this tomb and they believe that the body of Pachacutec is inside of this tomb Pachacutec built Machu Picchu we're here appreciating Machu Picchu. We're also actually inside the town. You can see part of the quarry. If Machu 
Pichu was built on this mountain is because the Incas found a quarry on this mountain. So they didn't have to go far away to get the stuff they found everything here. That's how you look out of the royal palaces right here. And the main plaza. And behind this main plaza, we have the urban area. Why not Pichu in the background? And up there, the sundial, the most important stone of Machu Picchu, the Astronomical Observatory. We have a lot of hypotheses about Machu Picchu. We have almost 20 different theories about the site. But you have to know that nobody knows the truth. I'll tell you some of them for some archaeologists, anthropologists, scientists, historians, tour guides, tour leaders, and myself. I'll tell you a few hypotheses. One is, is that Machu Picchu was a resting place. Machu Picchu was the University of the Incas. Machu Picchu was the sacred town of the Incas. But you know what? Machu Picchu was spiritual, religious, you know, sacred, a powerful center of the Incas. This is Machu Picchu. Sacred Plaza, Sacred Plaza, and we see a couple of buildings here. They said that this they were temples. We use this expression temple because it's very easy to understand. But we call them, and Incas used to call them Waka. W-A-K-A. Waka means sacred place. For us today, those are sacred Inca places. Unfinished temples. The reason that those temples are not finished is because the Incas were building. Machu Picchu finishing to build the temples, but they had to stop. When the Spaniards arrived to the Sacred Valley to Allende Temple, Incas at Machu Picchu had to stop to build the temples, and they moved from Machu Picchu all the way to the jungle behind those mountains, 100 kilometers away. And the jungle will be then the last refuge of the Incas. Okay, so this is the sacred plaza at Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, part of the quarry, terraces for agriculture. Down below we have the main plaza for principal activities and festivities. Now, and over there we have the sand dial, the most important stuff Machu Picchu. But right here we have this amazing rock which was carved and cut following the shape of the mount. This is the representation of the mount in the background. A nice rock with an altar where they used to leave some offerings in honor to the gods and spirits. And here, the sundial. The most famous stone of Machu Picchu is sundial or Intihuatana. An altar where they probably used to leave some offerings, statues made of gold, cause gold symbolized the rod of the sun. Sacred rock, sacred rock where they used to practice some celebrations, some rituals. And this rock is actually, you know, the representation of the mountains of the whole empire. And that is the entrance to Huayna Picchu Mountain. And that's Huayna Picchu, the mountain up there. The top of Huayna Picchu is considered the Temple of the Stars. You make sure to book when a picture mount in advance of this two or three months before your tour. Otherwise, it's gonna be sold out. No, it's amazing, worth it, beautiful. The view is amazing from the top. Why not picture mountain? This is part of the urban area where we can see apartments, houses, corridors, palaces, shelters, lookouts, resting places. <laughs> 